Welcome. This is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of February 19th. Okay, your theme for the week is the High Priestess. This is a major arcana card. You can see she's emerging from deep waters here. She has the scroll in her right hand, the pomegranate with all its seeds in the left hand. This week, look for places where you need, and oh, no, notice the sign of Isis on her forehead too, and the owl, of course, all that deep wisdom, the deep knowledge. Uh, the high priestess is the one that kind of stands at the threshold between the conscious and the unconscious. So look for uh, places and times this week where um, you have the opportunity to step between worlds, between uh, states of awareness, in order to tap into the deep wisdom and knowledge of your creative work. Sometimes it's all about the craft, other times we have to go deeper than the craft into the places of the dark and into the deeps. Your focus for the week is the Knight of Coins. We had this card, I believe, recently um, in one of the readings. Uh, the knight, of course, in any of the four suits, is the one who goes out to serve and protect the realm. He's got the training, the skills, the resources, everything he needs to do his job well, um, but he doesn't stay hidden behind the walls of the castle. He gets out there into the realm exploring, preserving, and protecting. So your focus this week is to ask how you serve your creative work in practical ways. Coins is the element of earth in the realm of home, health, and wealth. It means anything you can touch, taste, or feel. So are you manifesting, um, you know, putting those story ideas into words? Are you getting the paintings done and getting them into a gallery on exhibit? How are you serving your creative work in a practical way? The action for the week is the Seven of Wands. Wands is the element of fire in the realm of spirit, creativity, career, and work. It's interesting because here we have kind of another threshold between this realm or reality or place and the one behind the figure. Um, so like the High Priestess standing there, you know, able to move between realms, this figure has a wand with the light and then there are uh, six more wands arrayed bef uh, below him. Your action this week is to step up. Step up, step into the limelight, claim your authority, claim your knowledge and your expertise, let others see who you are and what you do. Um, this may be part of the way you need to serve your work in, in practical ways. And then finally, the gift or gift is the ten of wands guy doesn't look very happy does he again wands is the element of fire in the realm of spirit creativity career and work and this poor guy is belly down on the ground trying to get to where he needs to go the gift this week ten is a number of uh, not completion but the tipping point moving from completion into beginning again so your gift this week is the ability to put the most recent project down hopefully you know finish completed starting its path out into the world so that you can begin anew. You have to put it down, rest, renew, so you can start again with the next new project. So as we look at the story for the week, first of all, you know, here's the high priestess, the two standing uh, between the threshold of the conscious and the unconscious. Look for places this week where you need to move back and forth between those realms in order to access the deep wisdom and knowledge of your creative work. In accessing that knowledge, then in practical ways, ask yourself, how do I serve my creative work? How do I get out there into the community and offer my work, serve the community and serve my work at the same time? Then take action. And that means stepping up and recognizing your expertise and your abilities. No false modesty this week. Um, you know, you, people are waiting to see who you are and what you have to offer. So really take that action. And then look for the gift of being able to drop the load of a project that you've maybe worked on too long and too hard. It's time to let it go and prepare for the next project. That's the gift, the ability to let it go. And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DividingTheMuse.com, wishing you divine musings.